Thank you. Um, now uh, we're going to move on to uh, mention this uh, microdot blog. Great. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, it, this is it's really cool to see the variety of demos. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this stuff. So I'm going to show Microdot blog. Uh, it launched, let me share my screen. It launched, um, actually, it was developed kind of in a similar time as Mastodon, launched publicly in 2017, and we added um, activity pub support, I think about four years ago, but it's really improved more recently with all the interest. Uh, can you all see my browser window here? Maybe? Yes, we can. OK, cool. Um, so I'm going to show uh, just a few things really quick. Um, I'm going to use three tabs to show things. This is micro.blog, the web version. There's also a native iPhone version, Android and Mac, uh, and third-party apps. So I'm just going to use the web version. I'm also going to show my own personal blog, hosted at manton.org. This is hosted by micro.blog. And then another tab, I have indieweb.social, which of course is a Mastodon instance. I use this for testing sometimes, so I'm going to use that. Um, so the um, micro.blog is kind of a combination of social network and blogging platform. Uh, so some of the things are very social networky. I can follow people, uh, view conversations, reply. Uh, and these posts are coming from either RSS feeds, like if someone registers, they can they can set up different RSS feeds. And when I follow them, I see all the posts from those feeds, or they can come from ActivityPub. So I can follow ActivityPub users, reply, and they show up in my feed. Um, then the blogging section is kind of some of the stuff down here. I can manage posts, pages, uploads, categories, the things you would expect um, from a blog. So I can click on posts. I can see some of the posts I've made. I can schedule posts. I can have drafts. This is a draft I wrote that I was going to post today about the Twitter API. Um, changes. I can edit posts. We use Markdown for, um, you know, like styling and that sort of thing, creating links. So you can see that, um, see that here. Um, so I'm going to go to my blog and this is what it looks like when it's published. It's at my own domain name, manson.org. I have this post I made today. That's like a long kind of like full length blog post, but I also have a whole bunch of short posts. Um, so the idea was to get people to really encourage people to post on their own blog, even short posts, so they can control the content instead of putting it in a centralized uh, service like Twitter or Facebook. Um, so I can have different pages, uh, different photos I've posted, that sort of thing. Um, you can have different themes. Uh, we use Hugo behind the scenes, so you have kind of full control over, over templates. Um, because it's at my own domain name, if I switch over to Mastodon, um, all this stuff is going out via ActivityPub, so I can follow my, you know, uh, ActivityPub handle. It's Manson at Manson.org, but because it's your own domain and it could be anything, you could have something shorter if you wanted to. Uh, I'll search for that. My user comes up, click on it, and I can see these are the posts from my blog that came out through ActivityPub. Um, we, so kind of one interesting thing is, like, since we just sent it as HTML, you can have, like, inline links, and Mastodon does a pretty good job of showing showing those even though it doesn't currently create those. And I believe there's also a pull request or a feature request that's coming soon to Mastodon for showing like bold and italics and that stuff will also automatically work. Um, so back to my blog, uh, I'm gonna click on the permalink for this post. Uh, and at the bottom, we collect like the conversation for replies to that post. So they can be from micro.blog, they can be from other blogs uh, that send like a web mention uh, if they've replied to my post, and we show this here. And then, of course, they can be replies from Mastodon. So this is a reply I noticed from Mastodon. I'll click through, and I can see this was on social.lol. Uh, they replied to my blog post. And then I also, down here, replied back from micro.blog. And, of course, it came direct to Vidipo back to Mastodon. And so it's just kind of seamless. It all shows in the conversation. Uh, so the only other thing I wanted to show really quick was just the other side of things back on micro.blog. If I click on Discover... This is our uh, section of defined posts, and it's hand curated. Um, so we feature things that uh, might be, uh, you know, people that you want to follow. And then, if I want to find someone on Mastodon, I can just search their name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Ryan, who gave a demo yesterday. I'm gonna enter his um, username. It comes up, and of course, this is not actually Mastodon. This is uh, his blog through Bridgery Fed, and I can follow him and see him in the micro.blog timeline. Uh, so that's quick overview. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, different APIs, indie web APIs, uh, different apps like Ulysses and IA Writer uh, for writing and blogging can post to it. 
or any uh, Micropub client. That's it. Thanks very much. Thanks, Martin. Um, I, you know, I'm always, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally amazed at what I'm seeing. This is all amazing. And it's only, you know, with how many people do we have in the Fediverse? About one, 0.1% 1 of the, the uh, number of people that we have on Facebook, something like that. Imagine how this can grow. If the number of innovations occur at the same rate as the user growth occurs, this is an amazing network we're building here.